Hey guys, welcome back to Shrishti Tech Academy. In today's video, let us discuss about the important feature that was introduced in Java 8. That is the default and static methods that were introduced in interfaces. Before Java 8, the methods that were in the interfaces were abstract. That is, interfaces had only abstract methods. From Java 8, two new methods were introduced. One is default method, the other one is static method. In this video, let us discuss what is the purpose of these two methods, how to use them, when to use them and where to use them. Now, let us get started. First, let us understand about default methods. Default methods are used for adding a new functionality to an existing interface. That too, without breaking the contract. Before Java 8, if you have to add a new method to an existing interface, it is not possible. It will break the contract. So, in those scenarios, you need to extend that interface and add the new method. This method also will be abstract. So, you need to create a separate implementation class to implement this method. In a real use case, if you see, in java.util package, there is the top level interface collection. Under collection, there were few methods. Now the new requirement is, I need a new data structure which will not accept duplicates. So we are having two subcategory, list and set. Under set, there are few implementation classes. Now I need a structure which will be sorted naturally, either in alphabetical order or in ascending order. So a sub interface was created to perform this functionality. That sub interface is sorted set below which we are having tree set. So this means whenever you want to add new functionality to an existing interface, you need to extend it and add the functionality. This is the biggest issue. So that issue was solved with the help of default methods. Default methods help to add new functionality to an existing interface without breaking the contract. The default methods are public by default. The default methods helps to provide a common behavior across all implementation classes. I want all my implementation classes to have the same behavior means I can use default methods. But of course, there is one tweak in that. The default methods can be overridden by the implementation classes to provide a new functionality. That is very, very important to understand. Okay, fine. Now, let us see an example of default method first and then move on to static method. So, here you can see it is a used for adding a new functionality without breaking the contract. The default methods are implicitly public. It helps to add a new common behavior. Fine. Now, let us see an example for this. Here, I am having an interface I payment, which is having one single method void pay, which takes double amount as parameter. Now, let us create two implementation classes for this. First, let me have the class name as card payment which implements i payment let me search for it i payment and click finish now the method is overridden automatically let us add some println statement pay using credit card credit or debit plus amount okay similarly let me create one more class and let this be UPA payment and make this class implement I payment. Okay, keep the cursor here, add unimplemented methods. Now let us write the logic. Is this so? Payment using UPA plus amount. So this is a normal use case. I am having one single abstract method. I am implementing it using card payment and UPA payment. What next? I need to add a default method. So let me go to I payment. Here, let me add a method, a default method. The syntax goes like this void method name print receipt. See, so printing receipt. 
what is missing over here if you are writing a method like this you all know this is a concrete method but in case of interface still it will not be recognized why we need to add the default keyword explicitly default void print recipient the moment you add default keyword this becomes a default method it can be used by both card payment and upi payment now let us create a main class to call all these right click new class let me give the class name as billing and this is having main method okay how do you call it always we call it using interface reference i payment payment is equal to new card payment okay and i can call the method of the interface payment dot pay by passing the amount okay using this reference we can call the default method also payment dot print receipt okay similarly we will do it for upi payment payment is equal to new upi payment okay payment dot pay and now we can call the default method also payment dot pay receipt okay so here we are calling the default method now let us run this select your class right click run as java application and here we have got the output you can see pay using credit debit card and printing receipt printing receipt is our default method can we override the default method yes so let me override it in card payment go to source override implement methods print receipt click okay card statement for september month okay only in card payment i am going to override it now let me go back to the class let me run it here we have got the output in this case the default method is not getting called from the interface but it is getting called from card payment always remember when you write super class reference is equal to sub class object and when you are calling the method first it will check whether this particular method is overridden in the sub class if it is available it will go and call that from that class if it is not available it will go to the immediate super class in our case we have overridden print receipt method so it is getting called from card payment in the second case it is not available in upi payment it will go to the immediate implementing interface which is i payment so it is getting printed from i payment so this is default method from card payment class okay what if i want to print the contents in i payment also together with card statement for september month i want to print printing receipt how can we do that if it is overriding you will be using a keyword super super dot method name in this case let me go to card payment how to call it you can call anywhere either in the first line or after this print align statement it is your choice now let me call it in the first line i payment interface name dot super dot the method of the interface which is print receipt so call the method of interface if you are working with super class sub class scenario if you want to call the method of the super class it is simply super dot method name but here it is interface name dot super dot method name save and run it now see it is printing both it is printing from the interface then it is printing from card payment okay this is all about default methods default methods are used for providing a new functionality to an existing interface you can override the default method the default methods are public by nature and we have tried all that there is also one more use case when a class is implementing two different interfaces if both the interfaces are having the same default method what should they do this is a question for you you can just find out the answer and share it in the comments i will repeat it i have one single class which is implementing two interfaces both the interfaces are having the same method 
here i am having a class card payment which is implementing i payment let's say it is implementing one other interface i loan processor which is also having the same default method name print receipt in this case what will happen so the question is if one class is implementing two interfaces having the same default method what is the precaution that i should do please share your answers in the comments i am waiting for it okay now let us move on to the next one static method what are static methods the moment you see static it means only one single copy is available static methods are used for providing a common behavior or a common functionality across all the implementation classes static method belongs to an interface so you can call the static method only using the interface name can we override a static method no because it's a like a class variable can you override a static method in a class no same way you cannot override a static method in an interface static methods are implicitly public okay now let us try it out let me go to i payment class here only let me add a static method static void let us have the method as show details let me add a simple println statement payment process for billing okay now let me go to the card payment class that is the implementation class even if i try to override it you will not even see an option go to source override implement methods i don't even have an option to override the static method because static methods belong to an interface now let me go to the main class can you call a static method using the reference variable of an interface no because it is pointing to a class you can never call it using the reference variable even if i try to call payment dot i will not even get any option so ours is show details see we don't even have any option so you can never call the static method using the reference always call the static method using the interface so let us call it now i payment dot show details that's it let me run it and here we have got the output payment process for billing which is common for all the implementation classes be it net banking or card payment or upi payment this static method will be shared by all the implementation classes i hope it is clear okay now let us understand the final step we have seen what is the use of default method what is the use of static method how to use them and where to use them let us understand what is the difference between them static methods are used for providing a common functionality across all the implementation classes default methods are used for adding new functionality to an existing interface without breaking the contract static methods cannot be overridden default methods can be overridden both the methods are implicitly public static methods can be called only using the interface name default methods can be called using the implementation class reference that we have seen or it can be called using the implementation class object okay let us also see where the static and default methods are getting used let me open an interface called as comparator comparator it is from java.util package let me click on this interface in this interface there is one abstract method compare this is a functional interface this method is available from long long ago so long ago together with that there are so many default methods that are available in this interface let me scroll it down default reversed default then comparing similar to that there are so many other methods let me show it to you from outline go to window show view outline you can see all these are default methods then what about static method whatever you are seeing over here reverse order natural order these are all static methods let me scroll down or even i can click over here you can see public static the return type is comparator the method name is reverse order 
then let me click on natural order that is also a static method okay then nulls first that is also a static method whatever you are seeing over here these are all static methods comparator dot comparing this is one of the interesting method that we will be using when we are sorting the elements rather than you writing the implementation this method helps to write the implementation all by itself this is also a static method so this is one of the places where the default and static method is getting used whenever you want to add a new functionality but still give chances for the implementation classes to override the method use default methods whenever you want to have a common implementation across multiple classes then use static method in an interface i hope it is clear okay guys one last thing we need to check out is the difference between default and static methods this is always an interviewer's choice to question what is the difference between a default and static method okay guys i have an announcement to make i am starting with a fresh batch of java full stack from the last week of september if you guys are interested to join and learn java full stack together with me please do check out in the description that's all for today see you in another video thank you